Hello everybody, my name is Marlo. Today I've got another tutorial for you guys. This time we're gonna be building an Adobe styled house, which some of you may recognize from my building a house in every biome video. At the end of that one, I said I was maybe gonna do a follow-up video where I decorated the interiors of them all, but I think instead I'm just gonna pick a few of the favorites and do separate tutorials for them inside and out. So today we're starting with this one. So here is a list of all the materials we're gonna need for the outside of the build. I have got a list for all of the interior materials, but I will wait until we get to that before I show you. So I've got myself five stacks of terracotta here, which is probably more than enough, but can't really hurt to have a lot, bearing in mind the whole house is mainly made up of terracotta. And then we've just got some oak variants here of pretty much all the types. And then we've got 13 campfires and a water bucket to extinguish them, a barrel, a flower pot, and then something to go inside of it. To begin with here, we're just gonna do the foundations of the build. So pick a spot where you want the back left corner of the build to be, and we can place our first block down here, and we can have a line of five. So one, two, three, four, five, and then we can come across from this block five more with a total of six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then on this block here, we can come out by three. And on this block here, we can also come out by three and connect these two up here. You can see we're just really laying out all of the cuboid shapes which make up this house. And then from this one here, we can go across one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we can do a line connecting those up like that and then come out by three again, come out by three again over here and then connect these two up here. And you should have something that looks like that. Now we can start bringing a few of these up. So we're gonna place four blocks down in the corners of this rectangle here. So we'll have two blocks there and then one in each of these corners here. And then we can bring these up for a total of 10. So we've already got two here. We can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same again on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same again on this side. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then lastly, the same over here. And then pretty much we can just fill all of this in to make a solid rectangle. For the square over on the right hand side here, we wanna do the same again, except this time we're gonna bring it up by eight only as opposed to 10. So we've got one on the ground here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same again. And yeah, pretty much we're doing what we've just done, bringing it all up and filling it all in. This one out the front here is smaller than the other two. We only wanna bring it up by five blocks total, so we can just add four extra terracotta blocks to the ones we've already placed. It's looking pretty strange at the moment, to be honest, but it will get better, I promise. There's just one quick thing we have to add in before we can start placing in all of the windows and whatnot, and that is to come from this corner here and bring it out by four extra blocks, and then we can come up from that block here and connect it with a pillar down below, another three going across like this, connecting up on this side, and then four more terracotta blocks like that, and then we can come over to the top here and place two down like this, hop downwards again and then we can place an extra four blocks here. That is where our doorway is going to be. Now we've got the general shape of the build all done, we can grab our oak slabs and planks and come up to the top two here and basically put a ring of slabs going all the way around the top just to add something extra to the roof so it's not just plain old terracotta. And we'll do the same over on this one here and then we can hop down here, get our planks out. There's some weird noises going on in the background, I'm not too sure why that is. Um, and then we're gonna wanna have one here, two here, three here, and then four here, and then we can have some slabs in between, and then we're just gonna put some more on this line going round like that. For our entrance way over here, we can start by placing some oak fences on the bottom of these terracotta blocks here, and then grab our oak signs and place them on the bottom block and the third block up. Quick tip, in case you don't already know, you can actually use escape to exit from a sign instead of pressing the done button like here just to save yourself a couple of seconds. Then grab our doorways here and come back a block and place them down like that. And then we can put an upside down stair in the corner here with our flower pot and then whatever you wanna have to go inside. I personally I'm using a cactus. Gonna start putting some of the windows in place now so we can grab our trap doors and we're gonna do this a section at a time. So for this square at the front here, we can get rid of these four blocks like this and then place some trap doors and close them up and then come around the side here, get rid of these two blocks and once again, do the same. And then coming all the way around to the left side here, we can get rid of three blocks here, one up from the ground and then just over one block the same. Leave a gap of two in the middle and get rid of three more blocks here on both sides and then we can place a slab on the top and bottom of all the holes we've just made. 
Coming around the back of the build now, we're going to do a similar thing as to what we've just done and break out three more blocks here, one away from the edge and then again leave a gap of two and then we're going to leave a gap of two in the middle instead of one. Three more blocks, come down again and three more blocks yet again. So these six blocks at the bottom here, we're going to put some fences in place but at the top here, instead of two slabs, we're going to have a stair on the bottom and then a slab on the top. Then for the left side, we can get rid of these six blocks on the bottom and these six blocks at the top. We've got some more fences down here, but for this part, we're going to have three stairs like this and then three oak trap doors. For the final side, we can get rid of these blocks down the bottom here and leave a gap of one and take out those four at the top. Going to have two slabs, two more slabs and then two more at the top with some stairs like that. And then through that window there will actually be where our bed goes once we do the inside which we will get to in just a second, but we gotta finish up the exterior first. So we're gonna break these two blocks here and put some trap doors there to make a nice little window. And then we can come over to this part here, get rid of these two blocks and place a door back a block like this you might need to put a temporary platform in place and then we can actually get our fences here and bring each of them up on the full blocks here by two and then this is where we can start placing our campfires down so it's probably going to be a little annoying and tricky to do but we can place all 12 down like this or one at a time whichever you prefer and then grab your water bucket here and extinguish them all that is very loud and annoying but uh we got it all done now and then we can pick it all up afterwards my poor little flower pot and cactus have been washed away though, so we'll have to get them back and put them down again. We can also place a barrel down in the corner here on this little balcony, and even if you'd like, we can place an item frame with whatever item you're going to store outside in here. Maybe some food or something like that, so not necessary, but if you want to add it in, go ahead. Lastly, we're going to be placing all of our buttons in, so pretty much we're just putting them down on the top block of each part of the house going all the way around. So there's one side done, we'll do the same on this square here, we're going to stop on that block there though, and then finally do the top side. So that is the exterior all done. If that's all you came for, I hope you enjoyed the build and thank you for watching. But if you want to find out how to do the interior like I've done, stick around and that's what we're going to do now. So this is everything we're going to need to do the inside of the house. There are going to be a few blocks that you'll use, which hopefully you should have left over from the outside, like some oak slabs, for example. But we've just got some bricks here, which can be crafted into half slabs. We're going to be using that for the flooring. Chests, crafting bench, furnaces, barrels, a pressure plate, light gray banner. Can really be any color banner, I guess. We're going to be using it for a towel design. Some lanterns, some paintings, ladders, spruce trap doors, scaffolding, a flower pot with something to go inside two beds of course you can be any color an armor stand and then some armor of your choosing to go on it first things first we need to do a little bit of cleanup so if your inside is looking something similar to what I've got here we can break out these eight blocks like this and then place an extra terracotta block down there like that and then I guess we can go ahead and place in our ceiling to the bottom floor and then flooring to the second floor so gonna do on the bottom of the door block here and then we're gonna use oak half slabs going all the way around basically filling up all of this in we will go up and break these two blocks once we do the upstairs but we're just gonna focus on the downstairs to begin with a bit more block breaking to do before we can start the floor. We need to get rid of these eight blocks here as that's a whole other part of the house we're missing out on if we don't get rid of those. But then we can break out all of the grass here and replace it with brick blocks, which of course, as I said, can be crafted into slabs if you want to save on some resources. This can be quite an expensive block, especially if you're in the early game. We're going to work on this area first of all, which is what I'm calling the kitchen. So first of all, we're going to place two upside down oak stairs like that. And then we're going to have our crafting bench here, a barrel here as some hidden storage with a chest on top. So you should just be able to reach in that one pixel and grab it. And then we can have a furnace there. You could have another furnace beside it, here, but uh, you could also have a blast furnace if you're likely to use one of them. But you should have a campfire remaining. So if you get rid of this block here and then place a campfire underneath, the smoke particles will actually go through the block here a little bit making it look like it's cooking something up we can place a pressure plate on top just for something a little bit different to the regular furnace with our light gray banner on the side of the block like I said looks a little bit like a towel 
I am very sorry, but I've only just realized that I've forgotten two items on our materials list for the inside here, which is actually a loom and a spruce pressure plate, but they aren't really needed. And uh, yeah, so you don't have to add it in unless you don't want to. Same goes for the whole of this interior, really. If you don't like a certain part of it, do something that you prefer. But yeah, we're going to place our loom down backwards like this. So do it just as I've done there. And then it looks like we've got a set of drawers on top and then we can cover up whatever this is meant to be with our pressure plate there. Doesn't have to be spruce as well if you'd rather use oak and keep with that theme. You can go ahead and do that and then we're also going to add in our stone cutter like that because every survival home needs one of these. They are one of the best things added recently into the game. I say recently, 1.14, that was quite some time ago. We're also going to need a bit more storage in this house because at the moment we only have this chest and this barrel here. So we're going to add some more barrels here on somewhat of a shelf. So I've got some spruce trap doors here. We're going to place two on that block there and then go up two blocks and put them on the top there. And then we can have some barrels placed on top just so it looks a little more interesting rather than just stacking them in a corner or something like that. But then we can grab two more chests and place a double one over here. We do need to light this place up a little bit to avoid any mob spawning in here. So we're going to grab our fences and our lanterns. And the first one we're going to place is a fence here on this block with a lantern dangling underneath. And then same again on this block here. And then we can also add in some ladders going up to the second floor, which we'll get get to in just a second but I do just want to show you all of the blocks down here are above light level 7 so you should be safe from any mobs spawning inside here and then same goes for the upstairs that's all safe up there as well. We've just got one last thing to do before we can head on upstairs and work on that, which is to actually add in some painting. So we've got a nice two wide gap over here to add one in. So cycle through and get whichever one you want. Don't really know which one I'm looking for in particular. That'll do, I suppose. Um, and then we can come around here and there's a nice one wide gap here. We will need to get a temp block though and put that down as well as above. And yeah, again, cycle through till you get one you're happy with. So that is the downstairs all complete, looking nice and cozy in here. I really like how this turned out, but now we can head on up our ladder and start work on the upstairs. First of all, we will have to get rid of these six blocks here and then place two upside down stairs like that. We can then place our double bed down here. Again, you could change this up a little and just have a single bed if you'd prefer, but I like how the double looks over there. And then we can put a fence in this top corner here with a lantern underneath to light this area up a little bit, which, as I said, manages to get every spot above seven light level. Just about, we have a couple of eights, but as long as it's eight or above, that is absolutely fine. We can now place our armor stand on this block right here and put some armor on it. I'm using gold as this house was originally built in the Mesa, so gold makes sense, right? And then we can pretty much cover this in trapdoors, except for I'm going to leave one at the front. So we've got two on either side. We've got that little one at the front there, and then we can just put one on top as some sort of a closet or perhaps trophy cabinet. I'm not really sure what this is, but I think it looks pretty cool. And then as a finishing touch, we can put a scaffolding block down here as somewhat of a table with our flower pot on top. So that is the house all done, inside and out, fully complete. I really quite like how this one turned out and I hope you guys do too. I'm not sure what house I'm gonna do next from that video. You can maybe let me know in the comments down below which ones you'd like to see or head over to that video, check them all out and you can let me know on that one as well. I'll see the comment either way, but yeah, I will get to the best ones uh, eventually, probably doing them fairly sporadically, but I will get to them someday. <laughs> you just gotta give me some time. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Thank you for watching and real quickly before I do go, more specifically for those of you who wear headphones, can you hear my computer's fan going in the background? <laughs> it's whirring away right now and it's a good computer and everything, but when it comes to shaders, more specifically the BSL ones that I'm using now, my fan likes to kick it up a notch and it can be pretty loud and I'd just like to get you guys feedback on whether you can hear it or not. I can't when I listen through speakers, but I have a pair of headphones that are quite bassy and can hear a lot of background noise and I can hear it kind of loud and annoyingly in the background. So if you could just let me know whether you can actually hear it and if it's annoying or not, and then maybe I can decide whether I want to scrap them for these tutorials or not, or maybe just get rid of them whilst we do the actual building. But yeah, let me know in the comments if it's annoying or not pretty much and if you can hear it. But anyway, rambling on a bit here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.